Hey guys, it's Spy and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be adding toggles to our VRChat avatar using VRChat Toggle Assistant. And uh, today I'm also using the Winterpaw Feminine K9, but this will work with any avatar of your choice. So first things first, we're going to make our way over to the link in the description, which will bring you to this page here. This is the VRChat Toggle Assistant download page. And what you want to do here is you're going to click this purple Get From Gumroad button here. And basically, uh, it's going to take you over to this page. And all you got to do is just type in zero here and just press the purchase button down here. And then it'll just add it to your Gumroad library. And then we'll go, it'll probably uh, bring up a page like this. And then you just press get. And there you go, you have it. So after that, all you're going to do is click the download button right here. And then once that's downloaded, um, you can drag it over to your desktop just to make it easier for you to find it. Or even better, double click it and import it to your project. All right, so once that's done, you're gonna go over to whatever prop that you wanna to add to your avatar. In this case, I'm doing the Winter Paw sunglasses here, as you can see. I've already downloaded the package, but in the case that you wanna also add these to your avatar as well, I can leave a link in the description for the uh, download page for this as well. So all you're gonna do now is we're going to go back to the um, Unity project and then we're going to drag in or uh, simply just double click our glasses here. And we're going to import this. And again, you could use uh, whatever prop that you like. In this case, I'm just doing the glasses because why not? All right. So after it's imported, all you're going to do is go to the glasses folder here or whatever your prop is and then just find the prefab for it. And in this case, I'm doing these uh, hard glasses here, as you can see. And then you're gonna take this, the prefab, and we're gonna drag it into our hierarchy here. All right, so after that, it'll come up in the scene here. And all you're gonna do now is just adjust the prop on whatever um, part of the avatar that you'd want it to be on. So in this case, obviously, since there are sunglasses, I'm going to be putting them on the face here. And we're just gonna kind of adjust them to fit the avatar model. And if you're not too familiar with Unity, you also do have a bunch of options up here in the top left corner. So you can rotate the prop around like that, or you can scale it up and down using these, or simply typing a number over here. But in this case, we're not gonna do that because they're already configured to basically the Winter Paw model dimensions and stuff, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna kind of put them pretty much wherever on the avatar. Uh, and I think that looks good right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our uh, hierarchy again. And you'll see, obviously, your avatar here. So what you want to do here is you're going to click the little down arrow here and then find your armature. And then click the little arrow here on this. Then we're going to go hips. And in this case, for your prop, you'll want to drag the prefab prop right here in your hierarchy to wherever your prop is being attached to. So in this case, obviously, I'm doing the head. So we're going to go down to hips and then spine, and then chest, neck, and then finally the head. And then you're just gonna take your prefab and drag it to the name of the part of the body that you want your prop attached to. And then you're just gonna drop it there. And now it's gonna be attached to your head. And just to make sure, I always like to press the play button up here. Just go back to your scene view here, and then click on your head or whatever part of the body that you have your uh, object attached to in the hierarchy. Like I said, in this case, I'm doing the head. So uh, after you do that, you just gotta press this little rotate button up here. And then we're just gonna kinda rotate it around. As you can see, it is following the head. So that means we did it properly. For now we can stop playing the project. So now that that's done, we're gonna go to our tools option in the toolbar up here. Then you'll see an option here for toggle creator. There is also advanced toggle creator and toggle remover as well, if you wanted to remove toggles. We're just going to stick with the toggle creator for today because I'm not really familiar with the uh, advanced toggle one as of yet. So simply you just want to click on this and then you're going to see this window pop up here. So all you want to do is you want to find your avatar. So we can click here and uh, here's our avatar right here. So we're just going to click this and press a little X here and then the accessory object here. So now you wanna find your prop, which in this case, again, is the glasses. So we're just gonna take this, drag it into the box right there. Cool. All right, so now you have the options of choosing where in the expressions menu you want the prop to be. So in my case, I'm just gonna to go to the 
uh, outfit right here. Select that. Then we're just gonna come down to the name and menu option here. And then you could just type in whatever you want the name of the item to be. So in my case, I'm just gonna go heart glasses. And then there'll be two options down here. Don't worry about messing with any of these unless you really want to, because you can also add a, uh, eye context here if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that in this case. Um, so there will also be two options down here. There's safe state and default state. Now, uh, if you want the props to be enabled by default, uh, when you spawn the avatar in, you can go to default state and just check, uh, check that box and also safe state. If you don't want it enabled when you, um, spawn in your avatar, just uncheck both of these boxes and come over to your prop here and then in the expector up here there'll be a little checkbox beside your prop name so you just want to uncheck that and then you go safe state and then after that we're going to go create simple toggle and it's all done for you all right and that's pretty much it for that part so all we want to do now is we're going to go up to our vr chat sdk we're going to go show control panel and then log in with our credentials here all right so now what we want to do when we see this it's going to go build and publish as if you're just regularly publishing an avatar. All right, so now that it's uploaded, we're going to move over to VRChat, and I will see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, so now that we're in game, we're going to switch over to our avatar. All right, guys, so now that we're in game, we're going to switch over to our avatar that we just uploaded. So we're going to go to our menu here and switch to it. All right, so it might just take a second for it to load in for you, um, depending on what you added to it. Um, but in my case, it loaded pretty much straight away. So anyway, we're going to go to our wherever. Okay, so we're going to go to our menu here. And we're going to go to um, wherever you have your prop. And in my case, I'm just going to go to outfit. Oh. And... There it is, hard glasses. And I'm just actually gonna go over and look in the mirror real quick just to uh, check these out. So there we go, as you can see, we have my nice hard glasses now. Now these will be great for uh, just an accessory just for Ashley and her TikToks and stuff. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully I was able to help you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try and help you out as best as I can. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.